State your business. New recruit. More kindling for the pyre, eh? Well, go on then. How'd you manage that? Did you forget, sir? My commission is with General Braddock. When I'm not attending to you, of course. One good reason. I shouldn't kill you right now. Were you planning to announce yourself? Or did you hope my men Sir, wouldn't notice your if arrival? You'll allow me to explain. Ho <laughs> oh, ho! By all means. I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal. And you might be spared the gallows. I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir. It's... It's the sort of thing best not put to paper. Hey, them. General Braddock? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. Master Pitcairn won't be here for but a few weeks. I shall return him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. It's bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. But they've said nothing about this traitor. You'll not have him. Edward, listen to reason. We're done here. See these gentlemen out. Well, that didn't go as I expected. And to think I used to call him brother. What now? Well, they'll chase us off if we try and return. We're done with this camp. As luck would have it, so are they. Come along. Planning to steal Master Pitcairn. What? You'll see. Now, when I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. One and all! 
spy on you in your boss war! <laughs> Unhand him, Edward. Oh, you again. Let us go. And John Pitcairn with us. <laughs> I will not have my authority challenged. Nor I. Put them all in chains. Join them on their fool's errand. And when you find yourself lying I assume broken, you've good reason for causing all this madness. What is it you require of me? I'll explain everything on the way. 